Hello, everybody. Uh, this is Brother Luke, Sin City Preacher. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. This is June 23rd, 2018. And this marks the 10-year anniversary of my YouTube ministry. Uh, I started this channel June 23rd, 2008. There were a lot of times over the last 10 years I was tempted to just stop. It was just too much. Uh, but the blessings and the good that come from this um, YouTube ministry uh, is far greater than the problems I've had to deal with. But right away, uh, I was attacked by the, the atheists and the extreme atheists we call anti-theists. Uh, and, and then I was attacked by the, the lordship heretics, uh, the people who say faith in Jesus is not enough for your salvation. You've got to contribute your own religious works. Um, then uh, I was attacked by true believers. Surprisingly, even though we agree on the core doctrines of Christianity, that Jesus is eternal God Almighty, God manifest in the flesh, not a created being, but the creator of all things. We agree that Salvation is not earned through religious works, but received as a free gift from Jesus. And we agree that uh, once you've received the gift of salvation because of your faith in Jesus, that it's irrevocable, it's irreversible. Your, your place in heaven is guaranteed. You have a blessed assurance of salvation. So we agree on these things, but many of these Christians suffer from egomania and they they believe that their conclusion on all theology is correct and if you disagree with them then you're a heretic this is what i would call dogmatism now i'm all in favor of being dogmatic for the three core doctrines of christianity but when you extend your dogmatism to all other theological subjects uh, then uh, you're uh, you're part of the problem. So that's been my experience uh, um, here on YouTube. Um, a, a, a lot of uh, attacks, a, a lot of um, um, uh, dealing with uh, accusations. It's not surprising from the atheists. It's not surprising from uh, the lordship heretics. It was a surprise to me uh, from the, the true brethren that they were unable to give liberty to other believers regarding minor doctrines. So that's where we're at. Uh, that's the 10 years uh, capsule. But over 10 years, I've made over a thousand videos. I've removed some of them because some of my positions over the 10 years have actually changed. So um, I invite you to watch the videos. There's about 900 now, so you've got your work cut out for you. I also have about 60 playlists. That's a collection of videos on a particular subject. My channel, it might be the most comprehensive uh, Christian YouTube channel uh, because uh, I have um, such a wide range of theological uh, subject matter. Well, let me just say that uh, for, all, for all the people I've met on YouTube, who, uh, the good relationships that we formed, I'm very, very thankful for it. And uh, I'm sure that I'll continue meeting new people, new friendships, new fellowships being formed. Um, but I'm, I'm also very happy to say that in addition to producing videos and playlists, we've also been able to establish an online live church service every Sunday at 2 p.m. Pacific time. It's called the Church of the Eternally Secure. Um, so I invite you to participate in that. I invite you to watch all my videos and playlists. And if you think I'm wrong, tell me how I'm wrong. Uh, if you can prove me wrong, then I'll join your side. I've done it before. Uh, but 
if you if you do watch my videos and playlists with an open mind, you might end up concluding that your position was wrong, and maybe you'll join my side on that on that particular subject. All right. Well, for everybody who's been participating in my YouTube channel, however, <laughs> thank you very much for participating. If you're new here, I urge you to uh, begin on my channel by watching my playlist, The Bible Says. That's the place to begin. So I'm excited to say uh, I made it. I survived 10 years on YouTube. Uh, it, it wasn't easy because there's a, been a lot of personal attacks, but I think I've learned how to deal with it. Uh, Jesus told us, uh, don't cast your pearls to the swine. If you if you conclude that they don't have ears to hear, uh, then just block them, move on. Don't waste your time on those people. Put your time and your effort into the people who uh, will, will are willing to have a respectful, honest dialogue. Okay, so thank you for watching. Uh, I'm celebrating 10 years, and can we do 10 more? We'll see. Bless you all in the name of our great Savior God, Jesus.